PM show, nationwide, coast to coast, CRN Digital Talk Radio. I'm your host, Michael Horn. Glad to have you with us. You know, they got the uh, this is award season is underway when they do. Is the Golden Globes kind of the first one that they do? Or People's Choice, I guess, is the first one. And then it gets into, like, award season. And so, um, you know, the Oscars are coming up here uh, next month, I guess, in March. And uh, so they're going to do these things from Hollywood, that beautiful Hollywood and Highland, and they got the Kodak Theater there. Well, it's no longer going to be the Kodak Theater. That's sad news. Apparently, they're so financially strapped, they can no longer afford to keep their name at Hollywood and Highland. It's going to be now known as the Mike Horn Theater. Yes, do you have that, Tomas Forrest, please? Thank you. I know he's looking. I think I know what he's looking for. I'm starting to think like him. I believe it's the, uh, the Mike Horn Theater. We'll have that going there for you. When people walk in, there'll be, like, music playing in the... Uh, in the background of the theaters, you go in maybe classical music as people sit down and look at it. And Kodak apparently, um, you know, it's just a, oh, it's just about a week away. I guess it's going to be that quickly. It is coming up here this month. I thought, okay, so it was this month. And so the big change for the Oscars is the Kodak name is going to disappear from the venue at Hollywood and Highland, and uh, the Kodak people will remove their name from the building as part of their company's bankruptcy uh, reorganization. And they, they say at Kodak they simply cannot afford to pay the $3.5 million they have to pay for naming rights at the Kodak Theater. No word yet on uh, the na- when the name, if it will be removed by Oscar night, or what the building will be called once the Kodak name is removed. I'm telling you, when you walk in, there will be nice music playing, lush music in the background. And as each individual person walks to the door, they will hear this. Mike Horn. That will be the actual theme that will uh, play as you go, and it'll be the Mike Horn building. Mike Horn. Thank you. Take you to your seat right now. And, of course, I'll be there at most of the events just smiling. If it's a lovely woman, I'll have my arm there to kind of lead them through, and I'll say, hello, my name is Mike Horn. And I'll then take them over and lead them to their seat. Well, they will sit down. And this is costing me a little bit of cash, let me tell you. You know what Kodak was paying? It didn't come cheap. But they don't have anybody right now. So, like this gentleman will come walking in right now, the famed uh, uh, Michael Reagan with his commentary coming up here, ladies and gentlemen. I'll say, hello, Mike. Welcome. My name is Mike Horn. And then I will take him by the arm and lead him to his uh, chair, ladies and gentlemen. He will sit down and no longer will it be known as the Kodak Theater, but instead it will be known as the Mike Horn Theater. And that's what it's going to be. Michael Reagan, welcome to the show. Grab that headset there. It's good to see you here. We're uh, excited that you're with us today with your commentary. You never know. you got to just ask me questions. I'll fill you in. Well, Okay, so are you upset about this Kodak uh, theater name going away from the uh, fame theater that will be now just known as Go to the Theater? Somebody will buy the name to that theater. It's so, I mean, it's so well-known, Kodak Theater. Somebody, in fact, will el- end up buying it. Could be the Mike CRN theater. Horn. So we're thinking of changing the name to the Mike Horn Theater. And so do they have some of the – is Argus still around? Is that Am I really dating myself when I say yeah. Argus? Yeah, you really are dating yourself. The I mean, Argus you're dating theater. yourself when you say the Kodak Theater. Exactly. exactly. Come on. Do they have – what was the It'll Fuji? end up being Verizon. Is there a Fuji? and t It'll be named – someone will pay a lot of money to have their name up there. Why? Academy Awards, all the award shows that are there, right. they want their name in lights, and they will pay a hefty fee, in fact, to have it there. AEG, probably. It could be. They might buy it. But the whole thing is that uh, this is a, a just a wonderful opportunity for some film company like Fuji to go in there. And then when you have to load up your old film cameras, because if you have a 127 or a 620, if you got one of those, you'd have to buy just Fuji film. Does anybody know at all what I'm talking about? These, no, you realize nobody there's a whole cares. generation migrating. Happily, nobody cares. Doesn't even know about I mean, I film still, I'm still amazed. Last night I was, um, I spoke at Pepperdine University. Ooh, wow! And I was there speaking, and then uh, you know what amazed me is all the pe- people with their, with their phones, iPhones, and what have you, and Blackberries. Yes. They all have these digital phones that they take pictures. If you got four people in a photograph. Everyone gives someone their iPhone. And so you 
get the same picture From four everybody. times on iPhones. I said, do you people ever share photos? Why don't you just take one photo and send it to somebody That's in right. your group? But no, everybody's got to have it on their iPhone. And then they put it up on Facebook. Absolutely. To do that. I Facebook and tweet, don't you? Yes, I do. Thank you. I was very excited today. I was tweeting and Facebooking that you were on the show today. Is that right? That is correct. You know what I tweeted? What did you tweet? I tweeted if the Republicans don't get their act together, it'll be 1976, not 1980, and Barack Obama will be the President of the United States. I agree with you on that totally. We'll get your comments on that straight ahead. Mike Reagan is with us on CRN. Mike Horn. Are you an inventor, or do you know an inventor who would like to attempt to have...